Hi guys, it's Beverly. Okay, today is December 28th, so we're not into the new year yet, but I wanted to come on and tell you that I got my blanket finished for the advent, and I'll be inserting pictures. And I'm so happy it turned out so pretty. Um, I had extra yarn. I could have made it larger, possibly wider. But I really didn't want to. My Anyway, so I want to tell you a couple things I've been working on. The first one I have right here, you guys are, may or may not recognize this yarn. See, I got it for a dollar at the thrift store. Um, this is the Red Heart super saver monet from a hundred years ago <laughs> and someone i mean this is like brand new i got it at the thrift store it i whoever donated had it in a box they had it in the back room and they just brought the box out so i got it pretty much from the person's house right to my house so here's what i've been working on um, this is the Crochet Alternative V-Stitch from Hooked by Robin. And I'm going to be look, linking it below. And it just shows you how to do the V-Stitch in a different way. And she says, faster and less holes. So, I just thought it was so cool and what you have to do is when you go to do it she'll say now it's going to seem weird or I, I haven't watched the video in a, in a little while so I forgot exactly how she words it but it's going to seem awkward but she, I think she says trust the process and you guys keep hearing my stitch marker bang this one is a uh, turtle and I got it on the crochet cruise from somebody because we did swaps of stitch markers. And then the one on the other end is from Crochet Creations by Christy. And it is a piece of candy, Christmas candy. So I'm using them, you know, so that I can keep my edges straight. Because that's what I tell my newbie crochet friends. Put a stitch marker so you know which one the last one is. But anyway, so that's what I've been making. And I have already put one skein in here. I have this skein and another one. And so I started out with 105 stitches. She'll tell you um, what it is. I can't think what it is. Um, you know she'll tell you four plus one or whatever it is she'll tell you what it is and you can decide but i just started out with 105 and let's see my other end 105 yeah it came up pretty close with 105 so anyway that's what i'm making right now so if you're looking for a, a nice pattern that's different uh alternative v stitch by hooked hooked by robin <laughs> so that's what this is and i'm hoping today's wednesday i'm hoping to get this finished by friday so i can donate it okay um the next thing i'm making is i've been watching linda's crochet and more <laughs> i hope she's watching uh, I've been watching her, and she just cracks me up. Catch you on the flip side. I just love her. I, She cracks me right up. So anyway, um, she has been struggling with the Just Feel Festive Shawl, you all. <laughs> and it's a paid-for pattern on Ra Ravelry, but it's, you know, it's not very expensive. And... Z, you guys all know Zelda and RJ3. And then this is by Calissa Ryan. And it's on her Ravelry page. Um, and it's been around for a while. 
because the date of this pattern is 2019. But at the time that everybody was making it, Pamela's Adoring Crochet made it. Uh, Summer from Summer's Tips and Stitches made it. I just wasn't into making shawls. shawls. <laughs> I made them for a while. And I got criticized for how I say the word shawl, which I say it shawl. And it ends up sounding like shawl. Blah, blah, blah. But remember, I always say we're all from somewhere else. So it's hard to remember, to be patient. But anyway, so she just cracked me up having the troubles. And she's been working with Zelda on this. And I should have put a stitch marker up here because I'm unwinding myself. But anyway, and my stitch marker is banging. I thought I would try this. So, um... The pattern, like I said, is um, available. I'm going to fold this over. But see, that's how the shawl ends up. And everybody's already made it. I'm behind the curve. So I'm going to be working on that. But there's a story. There's always a story with me. So I was working on this blanket. You guys may have seen it before. And remember, I had this part done, and I was going into this part. Well, it's coming out wonky. <laughs> I like the stitches. I like um, you. I like the different stitch combinations. Like this part here, I like it. This part here that made these little V's. I don't know if you can see it. And these little this lattice work was what i was starting to do but you can see it's wonky it's kind of wonky and of course it would need to be blocked and the edges are pretty straight but anyway that was in the kieran um jumbo scheme i have two of those and i think the color is carrara or something like that well I need something that's a little bit more loose, open weave with it. So I decided, because I started it twice, I started it once with a J hook, once with an I hook, switched to a J. Then I decided I'll start it with a K, but then, you know, just a, a saga, just a saga. And I decided, nope, I'm not doing that. I'm going to make a just festive shawl. And so how this starts out is it's, you know, I showed you how the angle it's going to go. So this is like on one of the sides that goes around you and then it's going to build out. So I'm having fun with this. I'm having fun watching Linda with Linda's crochet and mower <laughs> struggle with this. <laughs> I sent her a little message, you know, and told her that because she was struggling Saturday and done two stitches here. Um, since she was struggling, I thought, what's the big deal? You know, because she makes a lot of stuff. She makes the hats on the um, knitting machine. And she'll wear one and, you know, the light's just hitting it just right. And you could tell. And it looks like it's almost store made. I love, you know, the consistency of the stitching that she does. And it just, so I thought, she knows what she's doing. So, but you know what it is? You know what I call it? And she'll probably laugh if she watches this. It's a brain fart. <laughs> it is. It's, you know, you know how to do it. What are you doing wrong? So she'll figure out. I know she is. And Z is being so patient with her and helping her and stuff like that. And I think it's going to just go great. So I think that's what I'm doing right today. I'm going to insert some pictures of um, the blanket. And Denise, thank you so much. Those little tags that came in the advent, you know, that you put on your work, like some people put it on hats and stuff. 
Great idea. The initials on the little tags, if you guys remember, was B, C for Beverly, for Bella Coco. Well, what about Beverly's Crafts? Or, as Denise knows, my last name is a C. So, I put that on the blanket. I took a picture of it and stuff. So, so I'm, I'm going to insert that. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Um, I'm looking for, I ordered a tripod. And I'm looking forward to trying the tripod out. There's a drawer over against the wall that has a whole bunch of Ogos in it and some patterns for hats. And that's going to be my goal in 2023 is to do at least one hat out of those. Because see what I do is I buy the Ogo to match the pattern. There's one that... Um, Marley Burke does that is in Fair Isle and I want to make that one and there's just different ones I want to make and I've got the yarn paired up with the pattern in that drawer and I need to bring those out and get those done and I have some beautiful yarn that I just need to use I, I really don't need to buy anything more I also want to do a shout out to Brenda, Brenda R. Thank you so much for, for the Etsy order. Uh, I shipped it out today, which is Wednesday. Uh, um, I had to make one of the scarves. <laughs> she ordered two scarves and one of them I did not have an in inventory. So yesterday I spent nine hours knitting this scarf and I shipped it out this morning <laughs> it's, I'm just so thankful that I have an understanding husband he can take the household in hand and make sure we have dinner and everything and I'm just so thankful and I'm thankful to Brenda for the order that she placed and I'm thankful for all of you guys for watching my videos and I'm looking forward to um 2023 right now i have a poll out um and i forget the th exact three topics because like i said when you get on here half of your brain evaporates but so far the make along is what you guys want to see the most and so there's this one pattern and it's a chevron from uh, Jeannie at the Crochet Crowd, and I have some yarn already stashed for that. A lot of people have problems with the chevrons, and if we make it together, and I have my tripod, it'll be easier to film, so I'm looking forward to that. And you guys, please suggest stuff. Put it in the comments, you know, because I'm sitting here going, okay, now what, and now what? I have all these projects that I want to do so I guess I should just clue you into the projects I'm, I'm going to be doing like I did today I'm working on the um, reverse or converted v-stitch and the festive show so that's what I'm doing so if you guys are looking for a project they'll be linked below and I'll catch you guys tomorrow love you guys